to make life easy we use uh, power tools powered by batteries and these batteries p uh, banks power banks no matter which brand it is usually are with the 18650 batteries and uh, let's see how you can do it yourself to change these batteries So you can uh, save a little bit of money and sometimes you can even get better batteries than are equipped in these uh, original cells then you can upgrade the 18650 batteries with something better longer lasting but be careful not to buy bad batteries because it can be dangerous and they can overheat this is just one of uh, the brands that are available for me to buy online here in Thailand. I'm not sure if how well they perform in a battery pack. But let's see. And as you can see they have something white stuck. It's a plastic. You can just drill it out. I usually use a metal drill to drill out this uh, plastic stuff. So I can access the, the screw that is in the bottom. Okay, now I, now I know I can now I hit the the screw. Now I can actually screw the screw out. Did I put something like this in? Mm -hmm. and that's the inside of the battery. These are different poles, right? So th this is probably connected, but if you have a metal knife and you connect this one together with these ones, it will make a short. It spark. It's, it's, you, you short the batteries, and these are already dead, so it doesn't matter. But if you short something, and and uh, the board here is short, it is not good if a component dies. Mm. So so you need to be careful when you open the the battery pack uh, like that. After you screw it out, you just can pull it out. You just the four screws. You don't need anything. And then we take off the the paper strips that are here, so we can uh, take off. Uh, and connect everything um, and solder, spot solder these to the new batteries. And then I can see that these two are connected, right? And th it's hard for me to go in with the knife and this is alone. So I will start with disconnecting this one. Because it's soldered in four, four points here. I will just put the knife under and then I'll just wiggle it a little bit. Like this. And when this is disconnected from here, it's easier for me to go in here and do the next. So here I think VP means v, v plus, voltage plus. And down here we have a ground, GN, GND, ground. So this is minus, the main minus, the main plus. So I know, and we have the plus here and the minus here on batteries. And then we just put the battery like this, have it like this, and then this is the minus so we need the the plus here and then we have the ground here yes so minus and then actually you can actually just like hold it with your fingers and if you have a friend you, they can tr try to you can see okay there are no sparks or anything so that is good and if you have a friend you can measure the voltage from the the ground is it cheaper to change batteries instead yeah. of changing the whole battery itself they have the whole battery pack it's cheaper to just do it like this yeah and sometimes one breaks and then if you have a lot of battery if you buy like 20 batteries and you use a lot of these and then at some point one of these breaks then you can measure on which one is bad and you replace one mm, okay okay what are you doing next because we had this problem we couldn't put the the metal thing on the batteries right we couldn't point solder with this cheap point, point soldering machine. What we'll do instead, we'll just attach these new strips and bend them over and, and, and point solder them, them instead. Oi. Uh -huh. and then the idea is that when we have it like this, and what is this? This is the, the plus, so we have the V plus here. So we will just 
Oh, and it goes over it. Bend it over. And then we solder it. And then we can solder this on top of here because now this is connected to the battery. We just need to can actually also bend it like this and actually solder a couple of points here too. And it will be like super duper nice. Okay. So this is the end product. We have soldered everything with the new strips like that. And we can check if everything is as it should be. As I tried to, you can do that before you solder everything on. Mm, then the minus here, and then the meter will show 12.5 because every I charged all the cells before beforehand, and they are all 4.17 or 1.4.2. It's a good idea to to charge them all so they are the same voltage, so they're full for putting stuff into a battery pack. The problem with, um, with with packs like this is that when you charge them they charge the whole battery pack with 12 volts. They don't charge each individual cell. If you had a charger uh, or if they would produce these that would charge each individual cell to its max it would be the best. As we say in Thailand safety first I will just cover everything in a... Blood by Wagon. Thai, safety first. Brought by Wagon. Hmm. So we just take some tape and just tape everything together so there will be no shorts or whatever crazy stuff. So we know we have this guy. This guy goes in something like this. Then we have a little spring here. And we can put the spring in like this works and this battery pack works like that and then in you know, like this right and then just to make sure that we didn't destroy anything we can measure on these points also 